Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Unbalanced Breakfast with the Loops. In our last episode, we ended things off after having kicked Strauss out of the um, camp and group permanently. Because uh, Arthur got a little too sick and tired of his, um, I guess, lone sharking ways, which is fair enough. Yeah. I think I was uh, actually kind of saying it um, at the end of our last episode, but it is pretty damn predatory even for bandits and all that such. Well, in between episodes, I have rested and I was kind of on my way to see Sadie when, uh... I discovered that we might have a Stranger Danger quest here. Is that... That's... I'm not after the hawk, am I? No, where is this Stranger Danger? Rodney, would you happen to know where this Stranger Danger is? Is it maybe below me? Okay, it might actually be, be uh, below me. Hello? What's going on here? Oh wait, are you behind the rock? Oh, there you are. Hello? You okay? Hell. Hell. You, you Hell. sick, partner? Uh, it's in Whoa. me. They're in me. Yeah, you're not well, friend. Uh, Butch's crick. Butch's crick. Where? Butch's Crick! Is that where you're from? Butch's Crick. You want me to take you back, or... There ain't uh, me. Uh, come on, let me get you home. What the hell? Why does he keep saying Butcher's Creek? And why does he say it that way? Oh, Butcher's Crick? Butcher's Crick. Crick. I got a funny accent. I can't say creek properly. So I gotta say butcher's crick. Like I got a crick in my neck. Oh, be careful not to drown him. Oops. <laughs> um. Your savior? I don't know. I mean, do you want me to let you die? They're in you. What, are you saying that, um, you had sex with everyone in, uh, Butcher's Creek? And, uh... You drank all of their fluids? If you know what I mean, wink wink, nudge nudge? Hey man, what you do in your free time is your business. But... Whoa! That guy looks a little inbred too. <laughs> Get out of here, goats! Where do you want me to drop you off, here? Hey, Lemuel. Uh, can you just get off Rodney by yourself? My god, do I have to put my hand on your ass? Yeah, he was in some distress. Hmm. Alright, well, I don't know if this is where we're supposed to, uh... Yeah, he uh, seems calmer now. I found him out in the woods. Well, Lemuel. Sweet Lemuel. Such a nice man. Such a good man. Come here, Lemuel. Come on. Get up here. I hope you Since the troubles began, he's just, he's not the same. It's in me. Why is he looking at me funny? Uh, no, he, he's not well. It's, it's, it's the darkness. It, he said it's the darkness. Who says it's the darkness? Well, the village is... Well, thank you, sir. I thank, thank you for Lem... Whoa, whoa. Whoa, Lemuel. Buddy. Take it easy there, bud. Shit. Please, please, sir. Ah, ah. Them you are not well, sir. Uh, uh, you got yeah. anything for me? Oh, yeah. Of course, sir. Love and friendship in the darkness. What else are there? Obadiah Hinton, that's me. Yeah. Love and friendship. Friendship and love. We're not a rich village, sir. But with love, rich. We thank uh, you. Okay. What the fuck? Well, I was well on my way to go see Sadie. A vision of beauty and, uh... You got brain problems? A vision of beauty, intelligence, competence, everything you could ever look for in a partner. And, um... These fucking hicks are just... Getting all up in my grills and shit. Rodney, you see that? What was that? Was that some kind of, like, wild animal, animal after me? 
Rodney, what was that? Was that a snake? What the hell were you freaking out about? Don't tell me it was another cougar. Aw, oh, man. I missed my chance to get with a cougar. Son of 50 million bitches. Alright, well, that's fine. Sadie's here. I mean, I wouldn't say that she's a cougar. I think she's probably in her 30s, I would imagine. Um, well, I guess, I mean, maybe if she's in her 30s and she's, uh, out looking for, uh, 18-year-old, uh, dudes, then maybe she might be a bit of a cougar. But you know what, Sadie? I'm willing to accept that. Whoa, what was that? Is that a muskrat or something? I could actually do, uh, fucking black squirrel. Get out of here, squirrel! Nobody wants your ass! You dumb sack of crap. And Rodney's about to lose his, uh, horse meal special. Alright, well, that's fine, Rodney. That is fine. I think I might need to go to a stables, um, to get more horse, uh, horse meal for Rodney. Sadie? Lady of, uh, loveliness and, um, vision of beauty, etc., etc. So on and so forth. First of her name. I'm here to, uh, boogie oogie and, you guessed it, oogie. That is if you're around here somewhere. What is that? A bird? What are you, some kind of heron? Yep, great blue heron. Fantastic. I know my herons. Apparently. About the only thing I know. What is this? That ain't a flamingo. Roseate spoonbill. Oh, I'm Abigail. Husband, but it's gonna be, well, it's gonna be oh, let me get some uh, burdock root, by the way. Yeah, in between episodes, I um, crafted some more miracle tonics, etc., etc., as much as I could. And so, of course, now I don't, I don't got uh, nothing. Abigail, I don't think you should be coming along. I know he's your husband and all that, but. Uh, you gotta survive, otherwise you're not gonna make it into the hit video game Red Dead Redemption 1. Somehow. You're going to retroactively not be in that game. The fuck was that? <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you there, alligator man. That's right. You pelican bitch. Can I? Uh, I guess I could, uh, possibly give you away to Pearson, but nah, it's fine. What is this? What is this ramshackle house you guys got have, have, uh, going on here? Any way I can break open these, uh, barrels to look inside? No? You're not like Dark Souls where I can roll through the barrels and all that such? Well, that's a shame. I Hello? Insist. insist all you like ain't happening. Arthur Taylor. Taylor was. She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But but nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, why ain't the crime sort? But I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you. Thank you both. Hey, Sadie, right. be prepared to be Here very impressed with my rowing. It is just fan. Watch. See that? One handed rowing. Spot. And I can propel jump. this entire boat with this just one day. hand. Business Are you impressed yet? Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. Wow. Sadie, you are a woman after my own heart. Seriously. She basically just suggested that we should head in there, guns blazing, kill everyone and their families, and just stroll okay, out. Bring us over. Make love to me right now, Sadie. Holy crap, holy. We're good? Okay, wait. What weapons do I have again? I got the bolt action rifle. Nice. And. Fucking Lancaster Repeater? You've got to be kidding me. What the hell? So, I'm grateful that I got the bolt action rifle this time. But, why the Lancaster Repeater? I don't understand why it changes every single time. Because the last time it was the Lancaster Repeater and the bow. And now... Yes, there is. Oh. 
Sadie, here's another opportunity for you to be very, very impressed with the way I deal with this guy. Okay. Because right now, you need me to take care of this guy? I bet you've never seen someone shank a prison guard with a cleaver. And I don't mean like a meat cleaver, I mean like an axe type cleaver. You see that? Ah. Are you impressed yet, Sadie? Do you want to make love to me now? On top of his, what is this? Oh, rolling block rifle, nice. Even the game recognizes that the Lancaster repeater is fucking useless right. right now. Where's John? Okay, uh, fine. You want, you want to see my binoculars? They are telescopic, if you know what I mean. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Is that him? There's John. Hey, I hey John. I There's a group in front of that barn, just to our right. Right in the middle. I see two guards. Okay, take them out, and let's go get our boy. Wait, oh. from this distance? I mean, I guess that's why he gave us the uh, rolling block rifle, but... Shouldn't we get a little closer to, you know, do some stealth? I mean, it's not that I can't take the shot. Watch, see? See how well I took that shot, Sadie? Are you impressed yet? I got that guy right in the groin. I mean, if his groin was where his tailbone should be. Let's go over there and see. Okay, come on. I think one of those guards was still moving. That's a lie. That that is that is some serious slander, Sadie. He's dead. There's no way he's still alive after I dealt with him. What is that? Clackchin? What what the Arthur, you showing off your Michael Jackson moves? Nice. Okay, is that Clackchin? Is that like the alarm or is that part of the music? Is it one of those like stupid ass songs that have like sirens in them and then when you're driving it surprises you because then you think that there's sirens on, coming Arthur. from behind you? Let's keep moving! Where is he? You see him? No! You! <laughs> Mister! You know John Marsden? I, he ain't... He ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. The fuck, it's the same guy. No. You put the gun down. Now! Where's John Marston? Uh, uh, he ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go oh, and get him together. Oh, oh. Oh, nice. Anything, I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? You yes. hear that, buddy? Very clear. Uh, Sadie, you got this, or can oh, I? No, okay, I guess I can't. I can't aim at him. Fine, and I can't really seem to uh, divert my path either. Come on, partner. <clears throat> Whoa! Why don't you nice. To the lady for pointing a gun at her. Excuse me. I said apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. <laughs> so, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Wait. Jameson, who? No, J. Jonah Jameson? Jameson. Heston Jameson. Oh my god, it is J. Jonah Jameson. Uh, he's been quite an exacting boss at times. See? Sounds exactly like J. Jonah Jameson. That's gonna be up to you, my friend. You know, I bet J. Jonah Jameson is just gonna shoot this guy right through Arthur. Alright, uh, I mean, try to shoot at Arthur right through this guy. J. Jo J. Jonah Jameson is, of course, notoriously selfish and uh, so, doesn't give a flying a fuck about anyone else. Employee, my friend? Not especially. But you well, say that to all your kidnappers out. or hostage takers. I'm gonna stuff you inside this barrel and send you off downstream, like in the hit movie of uh, The Hobbit. On, Sadie, might straight up to the front, might want to not turn your back towards the prison guards here. Marry me, Sadie. Seriously. Holy crap. Can I walk any faster with this git? I guess not. Sadie, you gonna whip him out too? Holy crap, holy. <laughs> nice. Holy shit. I don't think even I can pistol with people in like one hit. Do as I say. Drop the goddamn guns! Do it. Drop them guns. Foe. Jameson in! He's in South Denis. They got Milliken! Got him and gonna kill him! Unless you bring me 
John Marston, right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. Uh, uh, Milliken, uh, is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four? Oh, or very funny. No, we must be at eleven by now. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Faster. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seven, I hear you. Eighteen. Well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. And over what? For nothing. Hey, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on. Don't cry, buddy. I don't want to die. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey, hey, John. Oh, you too? Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Medican here will stop crying once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go. Wait, Arthur, what? Why? Why would you do that? He was our only, uh, bargaining chip. Ah, shit. All right, fine. All right, y'all bitches are going down. Going downtown to Chinatown. Wherever that may be in this place. I think there's maybe one in Saint Denis. I don't know. Then again, I guess Saint Denis is a little too sm small to have, uh... Ah, you... That's it. Fucking rage mode time. Y'all bitches, uh, shot my hat off? No. Now everyone dies. I'm gonna find out where your families live and kill them, too. Hope you're ready, ass hats. You, hear, you see that? Cover us. Don't, let's move. Wait, why am I covering you? Also, how are you still alive? Damn, son. Okay. Working on it. Come on, bitch. Oh shit, missed. I got him. Okay, uh, where are they shooting from? Oh, this guy, I see. Hello, sir. Please don't. Also, where's my fucking hat? Got it. This belongs in a museum. Oh my god. Working on it. Working on it. Okay. Oh, mama. Uh, a lot of faffing about. Hey, 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 nice. Wow, they were just bull rushing us. Holy shit. Oh. I see one over there. Oh, you did not just do that. Okay, alright. Let me just get my bear hat. Arthur, what are you doing? Stop dancing. This ain't time for ballet. This belongs in a museum. Holy crap, holy. Let's get the hell out of- Oh, shit, okay. Uh... That's right. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, wow. Two and one. Holy crap, holy. Yep, what, wait, behind me? No. Oh shit, you are right. You are not kidding. All right, sir. Sir, you gonna, please stop. Please stop. All right, I told you to stop. I expect you to stop. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Oh my god. This is a kerfuffle and a half. Let me tell you that. Oh shit, I don't think I got enough, uh, dead eye. Okay. Let me... Get some, uh, wacky tabacky. Alright. Now I should be able to... Now I should be able to, uh, gun all these bitches down. Boom! Fantastic. Right in the face, and... Get off your horse. Get off your high horse. Really? Wait, did you say come on, Arthur, or... Okay, I see. But you told me to hold him off. Which is it, Sadie? You're sending me mixed signals. Not the kind of mixed signals that I want. Okay, alright. There is one asshole uh, that is fervently chasing me down. Oh. I'm working on it, Sadie. I'm killing dudes to impress you here. 
Shit! Oh my god, I'm almost dead. <laughs> you always seem to need rescue, Marston. Nice to see you, Arthur. Uh, there's some fellas coming here. Don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys. Let's move. I'll row. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You... You're a better shot. All right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them as can still handle it. Thanks. Wait, why the fuck do I have the Lancaster repeater? Ah, uh, fair enough. I mean... Hello, sir. Fuck you. That was abrupt. You know, I think I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up. They're gonna be on our tail soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told them. <sighs> hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. Uh, can I get back on the island and loot some dead bodies? No. So what the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's dead. She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea. That still don't seem real somehow. Hey. Whoa. That was me. All them years. Arthur. He was like like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny too. No. What a goddamn mess. And did we What about the the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It's the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait, you're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. <laughs> you're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Roanoke Ridge and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again and we had to move. Yeah. Seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead too. Jesus. Maybe you should have just left me to hang. <laughs> and uh, I should warn you, Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. I'm all right. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. The Dutch ain't himself right now. Hmm. Or maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Huh. Are they still not. after us? I mean, I'm still fucking hearing gunshots and we're like dodging and ducking and shit. Okay, I don't see them, but those gunshots are definitely at a constant distance. Yeah, guys, I think they're still after us. I'm just saying. Just saying. Are we good? You brought him back to me. We told you we would. John! What are you doing here? Good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Yes. And when Spring and John brings the law down on all of us, what then, Arthur? Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn plan! John. John. You are my brother. You are my son. 
I was coming for you. They... They was talking to hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. Are they still after me? Arthur. Arthur. Oh, sorry. I was miles away, thinking of, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth. They're still fucking shooting out there. Are you insane? What? In tarnation? Also, Arthur, what the fuck are you wearing right now? That hat is atrocious. Hey, Mary Beth. Okay. How you doing, girl? No, seriously. What? What is happening out there? <laughs> okay, alright. Well, let me get my, uh... My saved outfit. Thank you very much. Wait, so... Ah, right, right, okay, so I do have that equipped. Right, right. Because that's my uh, winter outfit. Alright, you know what? Let me go see about this ruckus that appears to be happening in the background there. Wanted dead or alive? Wait, what? Are you serious? Oh my god. Wow, uh... Holy shit! Is it because of uh, what happened here? Ah, uh, look at all that loot I could have gotten. Ah, crap. That's... That's dumb. Also, what is HS? I wonder. Okay, guys? What the fuck do you... You don't look very well. I'm not, Reverend. I fear I'm pretty sick. I'm so sorry. You seem well, on the other hand. Yes, sir. I've stopped all that silly business. I think I'm okay. Well, that's wonderful news. <laughs> How? I don't know. I met a Catholic lady, a nun, and we prayed, and it was lifted. The curse was lifted. Good. I can't believe it. Really, I can't. All those years I wasted. Good conversation. Thanks for uh, walking away in the middle of it. Alright, let me go see what this Hamish Sinclair. Oh, hey, he's the, um, he's the veteran guy, right? My god. Is that just fireworks? Is it like... 4th of July or something? My goodness. These gunshots are never ending. This is insane. Alright, well, let's go see Hamish and, uh... Whoa, 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 what is this? A letter has arrived for me. Return to camp to read this. Okay, okay, we gotta see about this letter. Apparently the letter arrived just as I was, uh, out of bounds of the camp. Seriously. Can someone go investigate? Like, what is going on? This is just some batshit crazy business right here. Alright, letter? What is your deal, my friend? What is your deal? Not the flower, Arthur. Not the flower. The letter. Not the fucking flower, Arthur. I don't give a flying fuck about the flower. The letter, please. It was there a second ago. I... Come on. You know what? Yeah, take the potent uh, miracle tonic. That's great. But the... Fucking... Letter. Let-er. L-E-T-T-E-R Fucking look at it! 
Oh, this is grinding my goat so f What? This is grinding my goat so fucking bad right now. Not... Wh why? What? What year is this that I have to fucking pixel hunt for... Oh my god, alright. Dear sir, you were once very kind to Bo and myself, and it pains me to ask you to show us further kindness. But I have nowhere else to turn, and nobody else upon whom I can impose. I will, of course, pay you handsomely for your troubles. My family have turned quite mad and are threatening to send me away to stop my work, which they say is disgracing them. As if their history of absolute moral depravity, utter debauchery, and perpetual drunkenness did not disgrace them enough. I must escape, yet I am kept prisoner here. Can you help? Most days, I am to be found at the cabins on the plantation. The main house and all it stood for are thankfully no more. Yours faithfully, Penelope Braithwaite. Wait, her? The, uh, the Romeo and Juliet girl. Wow, really? Holy crap, holy. Okay, well, my plan was to go see, um, Hamish. But, uh, Penelope is, I'm assuming, way down south over here. Okay, I may want to maybe, um, go this way rather than through, uh, through New Hanover. Or Lemoyne or whatever this place is actually called. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the uh, gunshots in the background there. John, good to see you back in form. Alright, well, let's end the episode off here for now. We'll come back tomorrow and, uh, I guess we'll see Hamish and then go see Penelope and all that such. So for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.